Hello, Sycamore families. Uh, we're excited to uh, talk with you today, and I'm excited to share this experience with uh, our great students here at E.H. Green Intermediate School. What an exciting time to be in this community, to be in this city. Uh, our Cincinnati Bengals are in the Super Bowl, and our, our Always an Aviator campaign is off and running, and we're raising funds to support our athletic facilities and some of our auxiliary facilities. And then on top of that, our men's basketball team plays tonight for a potential first place in the GMC. So it's very exciting. Uh, the reason I'm standing here at EH Green is that these wonderful students started a petition uh, about getting the day off after the Super Bowl. And certainly we don't, we don't take that lightly. We, we take instruction very seriously around here, but we understand the constraints of how late that game is gonna run and you know, what that's going to do uh, for our instructional day, the Monday after the Super Bowl. So instead of, as we like to do here in Sycamore, we like to challenge our students. So I am putting a challenge out to the student body of Sycamore uh, to help us uh, get that day uh, for our students and for our staff. So I am going to look at our team here and I'm going to challenge you that since the first time since 1988 that the Bengals were in the Super Bowl. And it is now 2022. So I would like to challenge the students of this great district that you need to raise eight, $8,822, so eight eight two two, by the end of the day Friday for Operation Give Back, which is a nonprofit that supports many of the instructional things in our district. So if you can raise $8,822 by Friday, the end of the day, we will grant that day off uh, after the Super Bowl. So can you accept that deal? Yes. All right, so the challenge has been accepted from the EH Green students on behalf of all the district students. Uh, one additional thing that I think is important to put out there in this message to our community um, Operation Give Back is a great support to us and we're excited to do this fundraising for them. Um, in addition, our, our week this week is looking rough from a weather standpoint. Uh, I need all families to think about alternative plans potentially for Thursday and potentially Friday depending on the weather. We're going to continue to watch the weather and we'll be prepared to drive roads if needed. Uh, but if the weather report continues to be so negative, ice and snow are a bad mixture for our students. I do not want our students to get stuck in school on Thursday, that I would be prepared to make some, some calls on Wednesday night uh, to be able to plan for uh, Thursday. And then we would wait till Thursday to make any calls on Friday. But I need you to make alternative plans and really be thinking about what are those potential things that could happen for Thursday and Friday. Um, in addition, uh, teachers and staff, I really need you to think about asynchronous learning opportunities that you can make available for students in, uh, on Thursday and Friday if we were potentially out of school due to inclement weather. So I know this is a lot of information, but it's so critical that we get information out to you. Um, we want our students to be successful. We want them to continue to have learning opportunities, but we also take safety uh, at the utmost importance in making sure our students are safe uh, and being able to uh, be home safely and not on the roads uh, during an inclement weather event. So uh, again, excited to bring this message to you. Again, our support of Operation Give Back and, and the things that we're trying to do, we're excited to support the Cincinnati Bengals. And I think it would only be appropriate to end this message with one thing. On three, who day, everybody? One, two, three. Who day?